Hey guys, we're gonna start off this video by upgrading our pub sub. So we're using the default one from GraphQL Yoga and that stores all the connections uh, when people subscribe. Now it stores it in memory, which doesn't work very well when we have multiple servers because they're each gonna store in their own in memory. And then also it doesn't scale very well. So the recommendation when in production is to use something like Redis to store that. So we're going to just swap out that pub sub with this library. So you're going to go ahead and install this in your server. Um, I've already done so. Here's the package name right here. And then we're going to just replace our pub sub with this Redis pub sub. So I'm in start server on the server. I'm going to paste this in. And instead of using the pub sub up here from GraphQL Yoga, we're going to use the Redis pub sub. And we're just going to replace that. And then we don't actually need to make any changes to our code as far as the subscription stuff. Uh, now, whenever people subscribe, it's going to be stored uh, in Redis, at least the information for that that needs to happen. So I can come back over here, come to the playground, and I can actually listen now um, and make sure that this is still working. We'll say hi. And I see my message, so it seems to be working with Redis well. All right, so now the next thing that I want to do is set up subscriptions on the client side. So we're going to follow the docs from Apollo GraphQL, and we're going to have to install some libraries. So I've already done this, but on the web package, you're going to install Apollo Link, Apollo Link uh, WebSockets, and then Apollo Utilities. Now, you don't need the, the HTTP because we are using um, the other special library, which I'll mention in a second, the upload one. So I'm gonna copy this, I'll link this in the description if you wanna come here and copy this as well. And we're gonna head over to the Apollo file in our, webs in our web package. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this. Now for us, this HTTP link, the equivalent is, and we can delete it from up here, is this create upload link. So I'm gonna come up here paste our upload link and rename it to HTTP link. And so we have a WebSocket link here. This is how the WebSocket's going to connect. It tells you the location. We have our server at localhost 4000 and you'll notice it uses the WS at the beginning here. Um, here, this link, what it's doing is it's checking whether the user is making a query, mutation, or subscription. If it's a query or mutation, it uses the HTTP link. If it's a subscription, it's gonna use this. Now, it looks like we're getting a little bit of a TypeScript error here, which is kind of funny, because we copied this directly from the documentation. So maybe their TypeScript types are not up to date, or maybe the doc is not up to date. So I'm gonna assume it's just the TypeScript types are a little bit off, so I'm gonna cast this to anything. And then if we get an error down the line, uh, we can investigate this further later. All right, so this is our link, and the link is what we passed to the Apollo client. So now we're set up to actually make subscription calls. So what I want to do next is actually test this out and make sure the subscription works. So I'm just going to come over here and create, I guess, under listing, uh, just a new file to test out. You know, I'm just going to create under the modules. It's just going to be test sub.tsx. And, uh, oh, I don't have my thing on this computer, so we're gonna have to just type this out ourselves. Import from React. Um, and this is going to be export class test sub from React doc. And let's make this a peer component. That did not work well. All right, we'll render. And now we're going to use, since we're just testing out here, I'm gonna use the subscription component from React Apollo. And then I'm also going to install, or not install, but import GraphQL tag. All right, um, and I mean to say extends here. So I'm gonna say const sub is equal to GQL. And then I'm just gonna pass the subscription that I want here and I'm gonna copy the one that we had on our website here. Oh, 
Oh shoot. Copy. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna use this subscription component and pass in this guy. And this is a rendered component, or it has a function as a child. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is I don't really know, I haven't used this component in a while, so I'm just gonna return null. And then I'm just gonna print out what the parameter is. That'll be enough to see if it's working properly. And then I just need to pass in, I believe it's, yep, subscription, and we're passing in that sub. All right, so now I can render this component and uh, I think it starts listening right away. I might have to call dot subscribe though. I can't remember, dot data. No, I think it'll subscribe right away, we'll see. And then in a route, let's go ahead and render this. I'm gonna call it test-sub and we'll go ahead and import test-sub. All right, and I think we can test this out now. So I guess I just go to this URL and I'm gonna stop the connection here. Test sub, and we're not gonna see anything, but we should get some console. Let's go ahead and pump this up. So I got an object here that says it's loading. So I assume that means it's waiting for requests to come in. And if I come to the playground, since we're using the same server, if I hit that, we should get a subscription over here. And it looks like we do, and we get some data. And sure enough, I see that message and all the data here. So that looks like we set up subscriptions correctly on the front end. So that does indeed mean um, the thing over here in Apollo, that this type definition over here seems to just be um, old or I'm not sure they just haven't updated it or something but yeah that's how uh, we'll set up subscriptions and in the next video we'll continue working on uh, setting up messages and you can see all the data now you can make as many requests as you want and you'll get all that data coming in over here and you can do whatever you want with it you can display it which is what we're going to be doing in a little bit and you can see all the messages well that's it for this video guys thanks for watching